the M4 Sherman. Right up there. We we're also moving a, a panther around this morning. So this is the Normandy Victory Museum in Carrington. This is the inside. We are currently in the inside of the museum. Here we have Charles de Gaulle. German military. Again, more German items like Stahlhelms, knives. But this is the years of the occupation. As you can see over here, here we got a, a stun gun. Used by the British and the French resistance. It's right over here. That was what I was trying to do. That's what I was doing. I just remember all these shells bursting everywhere and this machine gun shooting right at us. I heard later about all the machine guns they had on the beach that shot 1,000 shells a minute. M1 American helmets, all for the Red Cross, medical items, and here you got a medic truck. Over here, and wounded soldiers. That's a cool effect. And over here you got more USG highs. Kind of interesting is a uh, helmet cover. Looks kind of like a German one. Probably took it from the Germans. So these were rare, but they weren't used much, the camouflage uniforms used by American armored divisions at some point. It's an SS officer that has been taken prisoner by the Americans. Yeah. No. <laughs> so this one is German over here. Yes, German. Yeah. He was in Gebweiler mm -hmm. in uh, Alsace. Yes. On the uh, here. Uh, Gebweiler was uh, industry, uh, Panzer. Okay. Uh, all the Panzer from uh, Russland, Russia, yeah. arrive uh, coming with uh, the train. Yeah. In Gebweiler. Yeah. On, uh, to repair Panzer. Yeah. On, after the Panzer in order. Yeah. To, to uh, Russland. Yeah. On after evening, the worker, the mechanic, had had with radio. Yeah. To this landing is part relax. <laughs> yeah, to listen to music and broadcasts. Yes. Made in conjunction with our great Russian allies. <laughs> I remember the first one from the I Longest Day the movie, movie, the movie Longest Day. <laughs> Although the initial assault may not have been made in your own country, the hour of your liberation. All right. So what's this right here? <laughs> Okay, fine. Destroy the bridge quickly. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty interesting. Yes. Okay, German, uh, destroy. <laughs> can come in here. Okay. Wait. Ready. Goodbye. Good luck, fan. You did? <laughs> the other guys got there first, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so they sent us around to Marseille. Okay. To take a picture of this area. Mm -hmm. Got Marseille, now we're there. Just French people. So we went over three, three, three and a half mountains. What's your message to the young people, to the youth? To study it carefully and try to do better in the future. Yeah. Uh, don't look for trouble. Yeah. And uh, treat others as you wish to be treated. Uh, try to be happy. That's about the best I could say or put it, you know. Okay. 
Thank you so much. It's really a great with you today. And as you can see, this is yeah. a hero, a great guy. And from the World War II Vanguard Museum of Lahijan, we are proud to be with you today. Thank you for your service, sir. You're welcome. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Well, I'm glad we're in peace there. Yeah. For one thing, I didn't know you had a museum there. <laughs> and so over there, that is actually the tank used in Fury, right over there. Just take a photo with that, as you can see. And that is the tank that was used in Fury. How cool is that? And I like how it all looks just like it was in the movie. You can see that's Fury up there. A World War II tank. Both World Wars, I guess World War One, 1940 to 1980, and then World War II, 1939 to 1945. Here we have the uh, 20th of June, 1944. General Taylor organized the first presentation of medals, the ceremony in the Main Square, the Place du République. At his request, I invited Monsieur Jorette, the mayor, together with Monsieur. Le Campion, his deputy, and Monsieur Favel, the town clerk. So this is where the famous uh, event took place. I think that's Colonel Sink, maybe? Yeah. He's handing out to the medals in Carantan. Took place right here. We are at the church of Carantan, right over there. That's the church. is the World War II Memorial for the liberation of Carrington. Right over here. And we can see that this is dedicated to the 101st Airborne efforts. This major town of the Sherbrooke Peninsula, a key objective in the Normandy invasion, was liberated by the 101st Airborne Division on the 12th of June, 1944. This memorial plaque is placed here in honor of those screaming eagles who gave their lives in this campaign as a token of continuing esteem and friendship for the people of France placed by comrades of the 101st Airborne Division Association. So you can see the American and French flag. Here's the information about the Battle of Carentan. So elements of the 101st Airborne Division including like the 506, the 502nd, the 501st, and many more all partook in the Battle of Carantan. Um, in particular, the 502nd 3rd Battalion, led by Lieutenant Colonel Robert Cole, made the greatest effort and got a Medal of Honor for that. 